But sometimes I must sit on the beach and I will pray. Be fishermen. Fishermen. Well, they're cut with fish traps to catch the fish. You know, instead of having to go there and work every day with a line, set the traps, the lower down in the water, every two or three days, you haul them. As you know, fish are very curious, so they tend to malicious and go and look for something to eat. Right now we are using chicken wire. Or no Thai wire. My mossy or wild tamarind. The first four goes to the four corners. You put one piece central here. Once they are tied together, you put the next one at the top to keep. Straight. First thing we do, we lay out the wire and we cut them to a specific length. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we lay them out and we then start to thread the wire from the bottom. And so basically, the cut off of the wire, we just bend it around to join the two wires to prepare it for plaiting. So this would be like a second reinforcement to the plat. So we're just using the, the cut off to wrap it around. And we wear to join them. And then we plat it to reinforce it. Later, once that's tried to all around and form a rectangular shape, do the top. After that, we will put some sticks out of my mossy spirit sticks to strengthen it and keep the shape. One funnel on this side, and on the opposite corner, you put another funnel, and they'll be facing down so that it makes it very difficult for the fish to come back up after. take the fish back out through the funnel. We cut a trap door along here. Okay. And then we work back with a colored wire so we can know where the trap is. In the water. Well we can use a piece of rope, a boy. Yeah, we got that in the water. When we go back, we can easily find our pots because right now we're using buoys. And you have to allow for high tide and low tide. So the boy would float. Even at high tide, you just sit on top of the water. Yeah? At low tide, you still see a buoy, but the rope might be here, the pot might be 50 yards away from there. It's attached to the door. So you just haul in to so come on top of the pot. Then you haul up. Mm -hmm. No, but there's a technique to it because Instead of trying to haul from the side of the boat, you should sit down and you keep the pressure on the rope. And when the boat rocks, you haul. Right? So you understand? So when you haul, it'll be much easier. Instead of you 
tiring yourself out. The motion of the boat every time it dip. Hold and hold so that it becomes easier and easier. Watch, you, you get the hang of it. So piece of Some breadfruits that drop off the tree. Sometimes you put um, weed. You know, like from sweet potato or anything like that. Dolly pumpkin inside the pot. Like fish food. Make every attempt to get into the pot. They circle the pot until they, they go through by the funnel. Put it right on the floor bed. And we try always to make sure that we are on a reef. As we put in a sandy area, we hardly catch any fish. Barbers, cooks, grunts, snappers, chubs. Cream mullet, different types. Well, right now we are making like for what we call pot fish. Um, we could go, go like six foot in length, three and a half feet wide. Yeah, so we can manage. You, that's what you have to look for where the reefs are. And over uh, the years, you would develop that knowledge. Nowadays, it's simple because you've got GPS fish finders about. Okay. But, and those things will show you the reef bed and you can go for Right. Now, we take the marks from the land. You're on the boat, if you look south, you look, look north, you do the same thing. Then you look directly east, and you pick up points on the land. Could be a, a tree, could be a house, and then say, okay, this is very end. I'm dropping the pot here. So you pick up the three points. Yeah? Most likely, the further out you go, you'll see that objects seem to come down and the next one come up. You got different reefs and, and they have different names. Yeah, you find some people on different bars and on the radio they'll be talking say, well, oh, I'm catching fish here on clouds. So, if you was a fisherman, you know the area and the different reefs, you'll head for clouds. Somebody tell about Shaw's Bank. Lately, it's New Lately, it's London, Trinidad, Tobago. They're all different bars. They will go to the fishing banks, catch fish without banks. Bajan, Bajan, fishermen. Sometimes I just sit on the beach and talk, and talk to fishermen. Fishermen. Sometimes I just sit on the beach and I will talk and talk and talk and talk to fishermen. Fishermen. They will tell me stories of oh so rare about some.